Good morning, Saturday the 17th of May 2014. Well, it's been a bit of a week for me. I must say, the excitement. Were you, were you with us last Saturday when I told you I'd put a bet on the Eurovision Song Contest? And indeed, if you watch uh, any of the short videos that we do throughout the week, you will know that I won some cash. I won quite a bit of cash last week on the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm very, very pleased about that. I'm very pleased to tell Marge that as well, because Marge is already with us this morning, who says it's not sunny there in Oklahoma, USA, but apparently quite nice. So I'm glad to hear that, Marge. But you did say that the I would win, didn't you? So you got this half right. You also said that it would turn me into a gambler. Well, I haven't been back since, dear. You don't think I'm going to become a gambler just because of one silly little bet? Listen, I've been to Vegas, Marge. I've been to Vegas and I, I only put $10 in one machine in a whole week. I'm not a gambler. Why do you think it would turn me into a gambler? That's what I want to know. Why do you think that? Huh? I'm waiting for your reply. Why do you think it would turn... Also, Marge, ten weeks ago, when I said to you I was uh, going to cut back on the bread and the cakes and all that, you said diets don't work. Well, I haven't put it back on yet, and it, it's been about five weeks yet. So wrong on two counts, Marge. Wrong. Have you got anything to advise today? That's what I want to know. Do send your advice in. There's an email address if you want to join in at any point this evening, uh, this morning, boys and girls, uh, or whatever time it is where you are. Chris at United Kingdom Talk. I've just got to close something down over there. One second. I've forgotten something. Always forget something. There we are. That's it. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk is the email address. Chris at unitedkingdomtalk.co.uk. Uh, we also have a Skype in. If you want to Skype, and I'll open the Skype immediately today, and the phone number if you want to Skype in or call in about anything at all, the Skype in is all one word Chris Reardon, C H R I S R E A R D O N. Okay, the Skype in is Chris Reardon, C H R I S R E A R D O N. And the phone in number is a local London number, 020 8133 6358. Okay, 020. 81336358. Marge says, I was only kidding. I'm sure you were, my darling. And the diet thing as well. See, it's still off. It's still off, Marge. There's no weight coming back on here. I think the secret to do with, with once you've lost the weight, you need to weigh yourself every day. Not while you're trying to lose the weight, okay? When you're trying to lose weight, just weigh yourself once, maybe twice a week. Once you've lost the weight, you need to do it every day to check that it hasn't crept up a little bit. Because if you leave it a week, you can put in another two pounds and then you'll be disheartened. If you see it go up just a tiny bit, then you can act instantly, boys and girls, instantly, like instant blancmange. You can act instantly and cut that fat back off. And if at the end of the day... If at the end of the day, by cutting out various items and eating us, and you still think that you can't, you're not losing weight. You still notice you've cut food out. You've told everyone you've cut food out. You've told everyone you've stopped eating certain things. If you've done all that and you've found you've put weight on, then I'm afraid you've been lying. Not only to us, but to everyone else at all. So you know how to lose the weight, okay? That's it. Anyway, so I won some money on the Eurovision Song Contest. And I've got to admit now... You know, when I've seen all these blokes in, in pubs and bars watching football on the telly and screaming at the television set, I now know how you feel. On last Saturday, I was DJing somewhere, but the Eurovision Song Contest voting thing was, was on at the same time. So I had a, had a little mobile, my little iPhone 5 set up near the computer where I was DJing from and watching the Eurovision Song Contest. And as, as, as the votes were coming, it was shouting at this, this phone. People were, what, what are you shouting for? I'm, I'm watching the... Oh, oh, right, OK, you know. <laughs> I was screaming at this phone, come on, Conchita, win, win, win. And she did. So very pleased about that. Very pleased about that. So that was um, uh, last Saturday... Sunday, uh, did some karaoke at the Cherry Tree in East Dulwich, where I do Sundays. That was very good. Monday, my, now when did my niece come over? My, Tuesday. 
Tuesday, my lovely niece came down from Woodall Spa in Lincolnshire, and it was her, her husband, Ben, and the two children, uh, Harry, who's... Not Harry, uh, George, who's nearly two, I think, and who's able to walk, and he says words now, Mama, Dada, Is, I'm Is, Is, Is. So that's wonderful, George. And there's a little baby, Emily, who I told you last week, she was three weeks. She wasn't three weeks old at all. She was only a week old. So they all came down. It was nice um, to have them all down. Uh, unfortunately, uh, Katie the cat took a dislike to George. I don't know why. He came, near, he came in and immediately she started hissing at him. How odd is that? And she's never really attacked or hissed at anyone. She did at me when I first took Katie in. And the reason I took Katie in was because she was my mum's cat and my mum died. So I took Katie in. And immediately she hated me and she hid behind the uh, washing machine. And she would hiss and the paw would come <laughs> like that, you know out trying to scratch me and all that business um and it was a bit like that to be honest very odd and after after the next day after i'd taken my niece out to a concert we were in the garden they were about to go home so george was was a uh, standing away from the cat and the cat was there and I was stroking the cat and she was meowing like she normally does um, do you know I've, got, I've sure got a hair up my nose and it's irritating me something dreadful George came closer and she continued to meow and be stroked right although she was looking at him I said come on to a bit closer George and slowly he came up to her and, and I said come put your hand out like to stroke her and he put his hand out well she went for him she actually went for him. So I shouted at her and knocked her out of the way. Um, very strange, really. I don't know why. Very odd. Because she doesn't attack anyone. She's a very placid, friendly cat. And yet, for some reason, she took a, a real dislike to my great-nephew. Whether it was because he was kind of a little bit more her size, you know, because, you know, little people aren't cool. Uh, you know, a, a very odd to attack a... A little boy like that. All he wanted to do was stroke her, and he likes cats. So very disappointed with my cat for that. I was, I was quite, you know, and I, I did. I knocked her out of the way and shouted at her. And actually, for two days, she was very quiet after that. I think she knows she did wrong. I don't know why, or why she took a dislike to him. Um, so that was George and the cat. Uh, the actual concert we went to. If you're a regular viewer and listener, you'll know we went to see Barry Manilow at Wembley. Fantastic night. Absolutely fantastic night. I'm just trying to find my notes. I do. Oh, we had the, uh, on the way there. It was quite funny. Yeah, so we did the train and the tube. We got the main line uh, train from Bracknell Station down to Waterloo Station. It's a nice ride. It's a bit long. It's over an hour. And then from Waterloo Station, we got a Jubilee line train all the way to Wembley Park. Um, so quite a nice journey, quite busy on the trains. We were lucky to get seats. Unfortunately, we sat um, right opposite the toilet on there. Yeah, and people kept coming past all the time. We were, <laughs> me and Manisa trying to have like quiet chats. And as, as usual, I was a bit stupid on the train, you know, making funny faces and things like that with my niece. There was some old bag, I said, not, not old bag at all. There was some young woman on there who was on the phone the entire journey, shouting, I mean, shouting into the phone. What's all that about? And it was the usual old rubbish that people talk about when they're on the phone. You know, where are you now? Oh, I'm just, I'm just on the train. Oh, oh really? There's a surprise. I'm just on the train. Oh, yeah, where, where am I? Oh, well, we're just coming into the station at so and so. You know, and you were getting the running commentary of the train journey. Why do people find it necessary to do that? And shout, speaking really loud, really loud. Most of the people 
on the train, had these little headphones on, you know, completely oblivious and cut off to everything going on around them. I think it's very sad. I think all this personalisation of Walkmans, MP3 players, uh, mobile phones, people are becoming cut off from each other. Interestingly enough, there was a story in the Daily Mail this week. Um, yesterday's paper, actually, which says heavy web use harms a child's mental health. This is in yesterday's Daily Mail. And it says overuse of the Internet is calling, causing mental problems for children, government advisers warn. Each hour spent online puts them at greater risk. As a result, children face mental illnesses and social problems such as loneliness, depression, anxiety, low self-esteem and heightened aggression. And I think the fact that we're all staring into our mobile, I don't think I do it, I do it too much. I don't know, really. You know, you don't really know until you actually think about it, do you? But I don't think I stare too much into my mobile phone. I drive along, I walk along, I cycle along the pavement and I don't really pick up the phone to have a look. Oh, have I got any messages? You know, des oh, oh, have I got any messages? And this is, you know, people are staring at their phones hoping that they're going to get a message in the next few seconds. I didn't get one, put it back. Do you remember I told you there was a woman in the church the other Sunday? Easter Sunday it was. And she was sitting next to me, and every few minutes she was in her bag picking up her phone to check whether she had any messages. And I think I think it does make you ill. I suffer from depression now and again. You wouldn't know. I hide it when I'm doing this show or work, work, but I do suffer from depression. And after reading that story, I thought to myself, did I get depressed? before I had a computer. I don't think I did. I wonder if it's anything to do with all this stuff that we're surrounding ourselves by all the time. Even worse, now that we've got smartphones and we can check our messages every few minutes if we want to, on the move. And then I thought, what did we do before we had smartphones, we couldn't check the internet, we were checking our text messages. So let's go back even further. What did we do before we had text messages? What did you do on the train? What did you do on the bus? As the passenger of a car, you'd probably either read a newspaper or look out the window or actually strike up a conversation with someone didn't you ever been sitting on the train and maybe looking out the window and said without even thinking sometimes oh that's a lovely lovely view out the window there isn't it and you've started a conversation I notice sometimes now when you try and start a, a conversation, people look at you as if you're completely stupid, especially in the cities. Again, perhaps on a train or something like that. People are so self-absorbed self in their little device in their hand that they're not actually seeing or hearing perhaps what is going on around them, causing accidents on the road, that sort of thing. I don't think we can go backwards. You can't uninvent the smartphone or anything like that. But perhaps you want to have a little look around you when you're out later. How many people have got the earphones on, can't hear anything going on around them, can't hear the birds? Can't hear the cars coming as they cross the road. Head into the mobile phone. Nearly walked into you, maybe, did they? Nearly got run over. 
And even when you beep that horn as they cross the road, they still don't look up. <laughs> it's a funny thing. So, in a way, I can understand this, 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 this story on the front page of the Daily Mail there. It says the danger is it is greatest when children spend more than four hours a day in front of a screen, but it kicks in even at very low levels of use. Strange, isn't it? When I was on holiday in Florida, um, my nephew was checking his phone a lot in the queue. And walking along, you can kind of understand it in the queue, but even walking along from place to place, he was on his blooming phone all the time. Tap, 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 tap. Checking if there was any information on Chelsea Football Club. I mean, how much information can come in in a few minutes? And I do think it's it's separated. It's starting to separate people from reality which is a bit of a worry. Uh, some messages coming in now. Uh, Marge says, when I said diets don't work, I meant that when people think of diet, they think of starvation. No, you must have nev never starve yourself. I was speaking of the wording. If I think I'm on a diet, then I feel I'm punishing myself. Or what? We do like to punish ourselves, Marge. I do that all the time. I'm constantly punishing... I Seriously, I constantly punish myself for things I've done in the past. Usually when I was younger. Disrespect to my parents is, is, is a big thing for me. Once they die, once your parents die, if you've disrespected them in any way at all, then it does come back and hit you in the face time and time again. I, I really do punish myself, Marge. Uh, I've been told by various people to stop doing that, but I, I just can't. Um, I like the term eating healthfully. If diets worked then you would not gain it back and constantly fight your weight. Changing your eating to healthy means a life change. That's all I meant. We, uh, I would like to call in today. Oh, Marge wants to call in. Yeah, you can call in, Marge, if you want to. All right. Um, yeah, I think I've, I've changed my eating to, to a healthy method. I haven't cut things out altogether. I like to have some ice cream now and again. Uh, this week I had two bread rolls. Two. But that's two in a whole week. Whereas before, I was having a loaf of bread a day. I, I mean it, a loaf of like a French stick or a whole whole cob. Now I have a little bit of bread here and there. I have a, see, I've now bought these things back in. One thing I haven't touched is crisps. Or potato chips as you know them, Marge. I, I, I had a couple on Easter Sunday and I, they were just too salty for me. Didn't enjoy them. So I've made a little bit of a lifestyle change there. Good morning, Mr. 3D Focus. How are you? That's a, that's a rather rather good photo of you there. Looking, peering into the cupboard, Mr. 3D Focus. And uh, 3D Focus says, Hi, Chris. Congratulations on the weight loss. Yes, about a stone and a half. I've had a nightmare week. A mouse scuttled under my bed and during the a Eurovision Song Contest appeared on my sofa. Oh, my God. Mouse poo everywhere, no matter how much I clean, and one night slept in the bath. What, to keep away from the from the mouse? Do you know, I slept in a bath once, 3D Focus. I did. I actually slept in a bath once. I'm not going to give you the full details, but I was with someone at the time in a relationship, and they threatened me with a knife. So I went in the bathroom and locked my door and slept in the bath. <laughs> oh, it's awful. You wonder why I'm on my own, don't you? You know, how can you trust anyone? Uh, he says it's still here after having the professionals in. I fear I will need to move out as I feel like nothing is clean anymore. Oh, I know what you mean. Can you have a word with Katie the cat? Does she offer any mouse protection services? <laughs> I will have a word with Katie. I mean, she does seem to have a, her, her attacking mode after she attacked my um, uh, great nephew this week, I must say. With you in a second, Marge. Marge is holding on the phone now. I'll be with you in a second. Uh, good morning to Mike up in Newcastle. Hello, Mike, who says, Afternoon, Chris. What did we do before this technology was invented? The internet, smartphones, yes. You know, we used to speak to each other. 
we used to talk to each other. I like to think that this show I'm doing now, it's not about technology so much, but I'm here to talk to you and you're there to talk to me. And I, this is, this is like a good use of the internet. But to sit there and check your phone every five minutes, Jesus. Well, it's not even every five minutes, it's every couple of minutes. People are in and out of their pockets and bags, so worried that they're going to miss a message. And you know what annoys me? Sometimes these same people who are picking their phones up every five minutes, and yet when you ring them or send them a text message and you don't get a, don't get a reply for days or something like that, and yet you know that person is one of those who's constantly on the phone or you see them on the phone all the time doing something and then they, you know, you don't, or anyway. Um, Mike says, we were educated by television programmes, reading books, playing outside in the nice weather when we were kids, of course. Yes, sir, I did. I had a good friend of mine, Peter, who used to come round almost every day and we go out on our bike. Cycling down to a place in Roehampton called Powell Park or over Wimbledon Common. Always on our bikes we were. Mike says, we had a real sense of spatial awareness. Now, you can't have a conversation with anyone without them interrupted, uh, without them interrupting by use, to use their mobile phones. Spatial awareness means nothing to anyone anymore. Now, I accept that sometimes the phone will ring and people will take the call. I, I, I see that. But sometimes you can be in a conversation with them and then they look down, pick up the phone and start texting. Or they actually make a phone call while you're talking to them. <laughs> it's just so rude. Good morning, Marge, on the phone. How are you? Hello, Marge? Marge? I can't hear anything. Have I got the right button up there? Sure I have. Marge, we can't hear you. No sound whatsoever coming from you, Marge. How strange. I've got that turned on, and I? Just a minute, put me, put me headphones on. Hello, Marge! No, can't hear you, darling. No sound at all. Maybe you want to try again, I don't know. Strange. No sound at all coming from Marge. Now, how can I check that that's her and not me? Um... Let's... I don't know what to do. Mike, are you on the phone at the moment? Can I, can I try and call you Mark? Mike, rather? And see if that's... that's... Me and not her? I don't know. Let's try Mike on the, on the line as well. I don't know if he'll answer or not, though. Hello, are you there, Mike? Hello, Chris. Oh, yes, so it must have been Marge and not you. OK, yeah, I got you, so that's fine. How all are right. you? All right? I'm all right, yes. Sorry, do you want, do you want to chat? I was just te testing the phone, really. Unless you fancy a little bit of a chin wag for a while. Well, why not? Yeah, yeah, might as well. Now, didn't you have a, an interview at a radio uh, a little while ago? How did that go? I did, yeah. Can I mention the station then? Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. All right. Well, the the station is a local Bauer station. It's called Metro Radio. So, a local? Bauer Media Radio Station. What's Bauer? Bauer Media is um, a company who owns quite oh, a lot right, of radio okay, stations yeah. in, in and around the UK. They yeah. own Key 103. Oh, you know, that's, a, that's Manchester, isn't it? That's quite um, well known, Manchester. that one. Yeah, Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. that's correct. And I had an interview to work on a late night um, talk show called Night Owls, which is on uh, 10 o'clock till just gone two in the morning. Yes. And I went for an interview, got the, got the position, but um, because there's actually staff working there at the moment, I'm... <clears throat> I'm just on cover, so if anybody's off sick, then I just go in and cover for them. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a way yeah. in. If you started yeah. covering, then you're in. That's it. Now you've got to just wait until something comes up. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I can't wait to get, get back in and, you know, be, be sort of in and around that environment. It's really good. good. Yeah, excellent, Mike. 
Mm. So well, how are you, Chris? Are you all right? Very well, thank you. Yeah, I haven't yeah. spoken for a long the time. The sun's outside. I've been doing my garden. I've been very busy this week, as you just heard. You know, yeah. Went to see the Barry Manilow concert and all that. That was fantastic. Um, uh, there was a, a, a Rottweiler of a security guard lady there. She was she was all right. <laughs> yeah. um, what it is? So we're in the front row, and then there's a gap. Then there's a rope. Okay, yeah. Yeah. don't cross the rope. Don't if, cross the rope. When people, if people cross the rope, she was there, mate. Really? <laughs> God Almighty, <laughs> dangerous. And then on the way, uh, on the way to the concert, there were these blokes. You know, you often get these. I don't know what they're called. They sell bits and pieces, um, like badges and scarves with pictures of Barry Manilow, which mm-hmm. are not. I can't think of the word. Not registered. Not um. Oh God, what's the word when he hasn't given his permission for this to happen? What's the word? Uh, a rogue trader. Yes, I think so. Well, kind of rogue traders selling yeah. their wares outside with with scarves of Barry and pictures of Barry Man. It look, didn't look anything like Barry Manilow on those scarves. I've got to tell you now. Look more like Bob Marley. Was official merchandise or what? That's it, official merchandise. No, it wasn't official merchandise. That's just it. And these pictures of Barry Manilow on the scarves didn't look anything like him. <laughs> it looked more like Bob Marley. I thought we might... Have we gone wrong here? I'm going to a reggae concert, which wouldn't have bothered me because I love Bob Marley. Yeah, oh, but it didn't look goodness. anything like him. There was a bloke selling badges and bits and yeah. pieces, so we got in. The concert was fantastic. I don't know if you saw the little video. We did a little video. Um, oh, by the way, there's a new a new URL for the video shows. It's unitedkingdomtalktv.co.uk. That's right. where I was United, going wrong, because yeah, I was brand, typing in just, .tv. Just bought that one this week, unitedkingdomtalktv.co.uk. Oh, I was quite in dot .tv. Wait, did you get it wrong, did you? I did, I got it wrong. Or did I, I do it dot wrong? TV. Yeah. I haven't done it wrong, have I? No, no. Was it no. you? Yes, that was me, that was doing it wrong. Um, instead of putting in, putting United Kingdom Talk TV, I put United Kingdom Talk dot TV. Oh, right, okay. Instead of dot UK. Okay. Oh, naughty boy. And so we went in and saw the concert... Came yeah. out again, and on the way back, we did have to laugh. There was this bloke, and he was selling, come and get your badges, come and get your badges. We've only got 200 left now. So I laughed as I walked past. That was, I thought that was quite funny. <laughs> have you been to any concerts at all, Mike? I went to see Luther Van Dross many, oh, many years wow. ago. I think it was about 2001, something like that. Excellent. And I went with a friend because she had no one to go with. So right. I thought, well, you know, it's a free concert, you know, free ticket. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And one of the backing singers at the time was pregnant. Oh yeah. And she was on stage singing away and stuff. But um, she absolutely. didn't have her waters broken while she was there, oh, did she? While no, she was no, on no, the no, stage. That, that would have been really embarrassing, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> I would have laughed my head off. Talk about the flood. <laughs> Dear me. Oh, did he? Well, that was by tape, that wasn't it? Did he sing never too much? He did. Yes. Yeah. Wow. He done loads of great songs. But it was that many years ago, you see, I can't remember which ones he sang. Oh, well. I think he'd done Dance With My Father as well. Yeah, beautiful songs. Oh, it's a lovely song, that. There was a band on last night at, uh, uh, at a local social club, which I went to see last night, uh, just called, they were called The Boys, and they done Dance With My Father right at the end, and it was fantastic. Beautiful. They were doing Queen stuff, and it was just absolutely amazing. I had someone do... Um Luther Van Dross, now what's it called? Uh, oh, uh, never too late, never too late, never too late, never too late. That one at the karaoke this week as well. That one's never too much. Yeah, yeah, I love that one. Got a message here uh, from someone in Russia. A very good uh, afternoon to you. I don't know what it means, unfortunately. Actually, no, maybe I can translate that. If I highlight something, can't I do Google Translate or something? How does that work? Uh, you can do, but I don't think it'll come up in the right order. Let's, it'll, let's it'll, you'll be able to get the gist of the sentence. Google search. Let's have a look. Oh, uh, What does that... Translate this page. Okay. Oh, it means... I gather it means London. It's like strange... What? what <coughs> stra- oh, translate. Uh, translate. Hang on. Uh, no, I don't know what that means. Oh, translate. Let's do a translate. Tr- 
Translate. Google Translate. Detect language, okay. Oh yeah, it just means London. It means London. Okay, so someone's sent a little message that says London. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Well, That's Mike, awesome. nice to talk to you today, my old friend. Unless okay, you, got you too, Chris. Take care of yourself. You have a lovely day, sir, all right? Okay, you too, Chris. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheerio. There we are, Mike in Newcastle. I think Marge wants to have another little go on the phone there, so we'll give her a quick call. Um, she's got one of those new headset things, maybe a little bit like Thunderbirds or something like that with a little mic microphone in front of your mouth. Good morning, Marge. Hello, Marge. Hello, just a second. Can you turn yourself up a bit, darling? Uh, I'm all right. I just didn't have my headset on. Right. I thought you were talking to Keith George or whoever, and I was going to go in the kitchen. No, that was <laughs> so Mike. That was away. Mike. Good morning. Good can morning, Marge. All right? Yeah. Can you hear me okay now? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, it's crazy. I built a new computer, and it don't. It, the front... Um, Speaker, the thing for the mic doesn't work. In well, the I don't know what you've bought there, but it sounds a hundred times better than whatever you were using before. It's really good, really good quality. Marge is I, in Oklahoma, USA. I built this computer, that's why. From scratch? <laughs> I built it, well, yeah, for parts from a garage yeah. sale, about $10. Fantastic. This is I your new all- computer. It's new to me. It's yeah. only about five years. It's from a school. They're called right. E-Machines. It's five years old. They had gutted it. I mean, all I had was a hard drive, I mean, a, a motherboard, the yeah. case. I put in the uh, memory. I bought some memory at another garage sale for a dollar. Oh, got yeah. Two gig- I got two gigabyte of memory, and I put in a hard drive that I had in the drawer. It's an 80 gig hard drive. Yeah. And I put it together, but I didn't know the front. <laughs> didn't. I don't know if it doesn't work or it needs a setting. Anyway, I put well, this to work. on it. Seems to be so, working now, March. And ten dollar headset, so I'm I'm good to go. <laughs> it's working now. It's working now. Yeah, yeah I was just going to explain. On some of them, sometimes whenever I write something, I think you you under you get the opposite of my what I'm saying. And know it's a joke, but I was talking about the word diet. You know, um, people. Oh, I'm going on a diet. And they go on a diet every every other day. You know, but it fails because it's like. Oh, I'm punishing myself, and I have to eat junk food. You know, we eat food for pleasure. That's what food is, is a pleasure. And I'm a yo-yo diet, dieter myself, in uh, a way. I mean, I've lost... Apparently, I've that's lost, not very good for... If you do that, it's not good for your health. No. Yo-yo diets good, are really bad for health. It's good at the health. time when you've lost it, but mm. when you gain it back, you gain the, the weight back plus more. Yes. Because you're you're not enjoying life. You know, life is to be enjoyed. We want pleasure in, in our life, you know. And, and I look at... It's good to to eat the food you like, but you know in moderation. Yes. And uh, and for me, my my issue is I've got food allergies. You know, and I did like you talking about that. I hate to even give the word but depression. I think words have power, and when you speak a word into existence, you're putting power into it. So I yeah. don't even I hate even saying that word. <laughs> Because I, I, you know, the 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 power I put into it. But you're talking about internet and staying on online. You know, it's this it's this idea of pleasure. That's all we want in life is pleasure, and uh, seeking lots of people or lots of, uh, you know, whatever your your pleasure is. And it's still not enough. It's just no matter what food you eat, it's not enough. No matter how many people you have, it's not enough. And in person, I'm I'm not being you know, <laughs> psychologist, but I think. If we can just slow down, that's one thing I've noticed when yes, I got on the internet yes, yes. years ago. Time has sped up. Yes. You ever notice that? Yes. Time, yes, the days are just shoot, and you notice the sun is setting, and sun is rising, sun, sun is setting, the sun is rising. It's yeah. just like when we was a kid, we we were in that moment and we were doing what we were doing. Yeah. And and, and instead of worrying, uh, sitting in there texting about what's going to happen tomorrow. Or reading, you know, just jumping around and, and always in a hurry to, to get something out there to make us happy. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I broke myself. I was, I was staying online too much, and I found myself getting depressed. Yeah, yeah. But also, it's a chemical thing. I was reading up in a science deal about how it affects your brain chemistry because of the lights and the, the electrical uh, input of the monitor. We saw, yes, I saw that as well. It's something to do with the, the actual light they use on a 
mobile phone apparently is、uh-huh. stopping people sleeping. Now I don't take the phone to bed, but I gather a lot of people they actually take their phones to bed. Well, try try an experiment. Go into a room to sleep, and and that has no electricity, no no no、yes. nothing turned on. I mean,、yeah. dark and、yeah. quiet. My, and, that's, and, that's my bedroom. You know that's that my bedroom. You're going to a deeper, deeper sleep and a more restful sleep. That's my bedroom,、know. dark and quiet. The curtains、dark、are closed. There's no、and、there's the, no phone in there. Yeah. And, yeah, and your、lovely. bedroom walls. What color are they? Purple. Purple. Yeah. That's what you, you、uh, call. Marge, by the, the way, by the way, you will be very pleased to hear that last night I ordered a new background. Guess what color? Uh, purple. <laughs> purple. So hopefully that、uh, might be up for、you、next know, week. I don't know. know. It depends. You know, purple is a spiritual color. Yeah,、that's, I like that. You know, like, Catholics、like、even wear purple as a symbol of spirituality. I like the, the color.、Spirit. I like the、I'd、color. Yeah. More spiritually that you are, you'll notice people are. I think it's the color spectrum because we're we're. I, I believe we're made of light. We we are made of light. Not dust. You are the light of the world. Is what Jesus said. You know, it's the color spectrum. You got red, blue, yellow, green. The 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 auras they call it. Yeah. But、uh, we are colors, and if you if you if you're in a kind of a dark suppressed color, you're more in the lower energy colors. <laughs> you know. I, I like I like、thick. um. I like blue, purple, and green and red.、Uh-huh. Mainly,、yeah. they are the colours I like.、Uh, I don't know if you've seen. I think you have seen the videos of my hallway. That is bright red, bright.、Yeah. I mean, really bold colours. I、yeah. don't like boring colours. You know, you know, like those pastel colours or those neutral colours that people paint their houses in, and magnolia、yeah. and. Oh God, well, see, it's so mother, boring. My mother's in a deep, deep depression, and she, I've noticed her. Her she don't wear colored clothes. She wears. Dull greys、yes. and yes. black.、Yeah. Oh, black gr- is okay. Grey. There's another one. Oh, what a dull colour that is. Or、yeah. or brown. Now my niece, she had her bedroom brown, or she said it、yeah. was chocolate. And when she she said all decorated, and I'm sorry, I had to tell her. I said, well, no, I don't like the colour. It's horrible. Well, horrible、okay、and depressing. Add, if you can add some colour to it, you know,、yeah. if you have brown, I mean, don't put it overly t- like dark chocolate and everything,、yeah. but brighten it up with some yellows and some bright colours. Yellow, you know, beautiful, it,、like, beautiful. Yeah, yeah. my、nice. mother now she hates yellow, but I think psychologically, you know, yellow means like fear. Does you it? Know? <laughs> why does it mean? Why does that mean fear? Yellow. I don't know. Well, you know, if you go to a stoplight, or you, I guess you call them stop signals, whatever.、Yes. You know, it's the yellow light. People hurry up. They're afraid that they're going to run the the red light. <laughs> oh, they all put their maybe, foot down. It's worse it's like, and worse. Maybe it's psychological. We're afraid we're going to. We don't have to get up. You know, it's like a、yeah. a, a fear fear signal. You know, it's been、yeah. programmed to, in us because of. <laughs> I don't know, but anyway,、um, it, it everybody you know relates to colors in different ways, though. That's true. But you know, I was going to tell you funny what happened to me. Yes.、Uh, my brother gave me a Harley Davidson. You know, Harley Davidson products are very expensive. Right. Well,、What? he gave me a new.、Uh, well, to me, it's new. It's been used about three times.、Uh, a helmet, the、yeah. one that the whole face lifts up. You know. Yes. And the and first the the plastic part lifts up, but the whole whole thing can lift up. Anyway,、uh, you know, when you get things, you're worried somebody's going to steal your things. <laughs> so I I bought a, a combination lock to to lock my Helmet to my motorcycle, right? Because it'd be harder to steal it, you know. Yes. And and I played with the lock, and I was, oh, I got this combination down. I was opening and closing it, opening and closing. <laughs> so I lock my helmet to my bike, and I go into the dollar store. I come out and I work the lock. Uh oh, it won't unlock. <laughs> and I tried it, tried it, tried, and darn, if I forgot my combination. No. <laughs> And I, you know, I had it locked to the box at least in the back, so I had to ride home、uh, with just my sh- sunglasses. And you know what I'd done? Are, are you good with numbers? No. Do you have no, I'm not at all. No,、numbers. not at all. I, no, I'm good with、um, I'm good with my money. I know where that's going. Yeah. But I'm really but not good with numbers. I think really, we're、no. in the same direction. I forget sequences. You know, I can't add、yes. up a list of things. Yes. I forget the number at the beginning. Yeah. Well, I had switched the numbers. It was like thirty-eight, twenty-eight, sixteen. I had switched it from from being a six, a eight to a six Marge, in my when, mind. When when I did um,、uh, I used to do a music show on a radio station in London called Liberty Radio. Nineteen ninety nine to two thousand. I used to do the night shifts, two、uh, a.m. to six a.m. 
And uh, then we were all on CDs. And there would be this library of CDs, and each CD was numbered, okay? And you weren't allowed to choose your music. The music would come off um, a list, of a, a computer-generated list, and then you would take the list and go and pull out the CDs that were numbered, yeah? Yeah. So, for example, you might have um, uh, Ray Charles on CD 1257. So you go to 1257, pull that out, put it in the pile. So before your show, you'd have all these little piles of CDs. And I would, would work through the pile, and then I'd pick one up, and it would be the wrong number. And it would always be numbers that I'd switched around in my head. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I so do exactly the same as you. you know, I seem to switch numbers around without actually thinking about it. Yeah. I, that's what I said. I, I'm the same way. It's just it's somehow it don't it doesn't stick with me. Yeah. <laughs> now it's weird. I, I was I made A's. We call it, you know we have A B C D and F yes. as grading. You know here. Well, I made A's in in, in algebra. Right. Algebra. But see, there's no numbers, hardly. I mean, there's <laughs> like A plus B equals C. I mean, that's easy, you know. <laughs> but <laughs> in math, uh, you know, I, I probably made a C or D and forgot about that. Right. So I think we had the same background when it comes to... <laughs> I think it must be, yeah, to, to forget, <laughs> like, um, uh, st uh, strange, very strange. Yeah, never been able to quite get together with my numbers. Yeah, on your kids, I've noticed that they... they well, I used to, I'm a housekeeper, and lady I used to keep house for, a young little boy, about 10 years old. He gets up out of bed yeah. uh, at about 10 o'clock, and he comes in, he turns on the television, <laughs> then he sits down, and he <laughs> opens up the laptop, then he gets out his Game Boy. It's your old Game I, Boy, yes, I remember oh, those, yeah. at the same yeah. time, I said, what, what are you playing a game and, and, and surfing the internet and watching TV at the same time? And it was a gorgeous day, beautiful day. I said, why aren't you outside playing? You know, yeah. I mean, there's... <laughs> no, not interested, not interested. And that's the other thing I must say um, with TV, and I do it myself. You know, you could be watching a, a, a program or a film on the television. And then you pick up your phone to do something and then you put it back down. And you go back to the TV and you're thinking, oh, how did they get to that bit? And of course, you've missed... <laughs> the storyline yeah. i think it's be t if you notice when you log on the time how time kind of speeds yes. up it, oh, i yes. think it hypnotizes yes. you i think Last there's a there is a chemical you go into a kind of a, 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 a like a drug yes you know, a drug does yes. you. i mean you go into this lull and you've got to have your fix you know you've got to have that fix i gotta check my facebook yeah. i gotta check my yeah you know and it becomes an addiction. And these kids, it kind of, I mean, of course, like, I know we'll probably survive it, but children, like you said, they're not going out. They'll text each other, walk side by side, you know. That's right. <laughs> and last, last night I, I came upstairs. Um, I had a night off last night, so I came upstairs about half past nine. I thought, well, I'll just do a bit of paperwork. I, I wanted to arrange my quiz for Tuesday night. Um, I have to send charts in every week, music charts. So I did those, and I downloaded my new music for the week and a couple of other bits of paper then i looked at the clock and it was one o'clock yeah four hours had passed right and you and think how many hours my god I, how can i have been upstairs for four hours uh-huh that's, that's happened to me i've been yes. sitting i've sat down of course when i first got my internet or not my internet my computer you know it was a toy it was fun i sit down and play games and i look two o'clock in the morning and i'm sitting there playing a text adventure you know I'm opening yes. the door close the door <laughs> yes. Oh, yes and i thought guys and then i wake up the next morning and my eyes are all red and i got a busting headache you know? i think I you need to come like a drug you need to come away from the computer at uh -huh. least an hour before you go to bed even if you go from the computer to watching the television T turn the computer off an hour before you go to bed, I think. You can't just... Well, there's, go... there's programs that's really good to have is where it times you. It, it right. gives you a deal. It says, okay, this is time to quit. You know, go right. do something. You know, and mm -hmm. I thought, I've installed that sometimes, have you? you know. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I think, well, in the afternoon, if I want to relax. You know, of course, television, I, I've gotten back, you know, I've got a new television that I bought at a garage sale. I'm a garage sale. All right, yeah, yeah. I got a, a beautiful... Uh, 32 inch television oh, for, for 10 bucks and it's lovely. beautiful 
Was that, a bit, was a, that one of the big part, heavy ones or flat? No, no, it's a newer one. I mean, it's not. It's in between. You know, okay. when they started kind of getting squashed, but not really. Right. Okay. <laughs> but it's got a great picture and everything. It works fine. I Lovely. just wanted it for mostly to watch the news when the weather and stuff. Because if the internet's down, you know, I don't yes. have anything to to deal. And I thought I'd sit down and watch a a, a, a TV series. And I was so frustrated. I couldn't. I couldn't scan forward. I couldn't yeah. skip the the commercials. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> I'm sitting here. I want to move my hand. You know, because my mouse. You know, it's not. The <laughs> and I said, this interactive television. Uh, if you download a, a, a show on the internet, you can you know skip things, or you can you know if you don't like this part, you can just flip forward. But anyway, yeah. I said. I never realized how many darn commercials every few minutes on a stupid. Is y'all television? Is your television like that? Like no, com- commercial, no. We, I, I commercial. know exactly what you mean because I've been to the states and I've watched your television, and every few minutes there's another load of commercials. No, we don't have that here. Um, in a half an hour show, okay, there would be one lot of commercials in the middle. There would be That's some. That's what bef- it should be. I there think would be it some. Be that way. There would be some commercials in between the last show and the one, and and this one, right? There would yeah. be some commercials about three minutes halfway through, and then not, and then again not until it's completely finished. Well, now most of your television, though, you have to pay for it, though. Don't no, you have no, not at all. No, no. it's not. Oh, okay, I thought that no. was, you had to pay I, for your. We, uh, we, uh, uh, we have um, Sky Television, uh, yeah. which, which you pay for. But we have a lot of free uh, television. I do not pay for television. I refuse to pay for television. We have Freeview, which is an aerial-based system, you know, terrestrial television, Freeview. And we also have FreeSat, which is a free satellite stations. And there's lots of stations on there. There's plenty to watch. Um... Well, American TV, I hate, I love, you know, living in Oklahoma and American and all that kind of thing, but our television sucks. I mean, right. all the time I usually watch anything is from the BBC. Right. I watch Doctor Who, and I love that doctor. And is that free? <laughs> huh? Is that free? Oh, well, what, the way I do it, I'm sorry, I get it online, but right, I, okay. I found a site that's that lets you download the, right. the, the, the program. But anyway, um, that doctor that has a big ears. What's his name? I can't remember the name of the which, show. Which one? There's a doctor that's kind of rude and hateful. That's uh, oh. he. He's in a rural community. He, he's a, he's funny to watch. He just got married and had his new baby. What's the name of that show? That your, your your viewers probably know what I'm talking about. That show there, and I mean, like I said, all the BBC I don't stuff. Know. I don't know. I, don't know. It seemed like the acting is better, and and of course, the, I love the not the, casualty. The I don't remember the name of it. the doctor. Oh shoot! Um, I, it's too early in the morning for my brain to even function. Uh, uh, <laughs> I quit Is it coffee. casualty? I talk about call, talk about dieting. I quit coffee, and I've been going through H E L L all oh, week. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. People are addicted I quit to cold coffee. Turkey. <laughs> I don't drink and, coffee, Marge. I, I'm a tea drinker. A tea, tea ha, anything drinking. with caffeine, I can't tea. drink tea because of my joint pain. I a black tea, that's the right. world's worst on joints. If okay. you got any kind of arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or anything, it it infl- inflammation. Oh yeah. man, <laughs> my ankle <laughs> swell, my hand swell. But now green tea. Now you talking about green tea? Yeah. Green tea is black tea. It's just the plant. It's the same plant. But would you put milk in that? Uh, no. Oh, I, you wouldn't I put milk know. in it. No, I don't put milk. We don't put milk in our tea. Okay. <laughs> anyway, gr- green tea is the same plant that you yeah. get your black tea from. It's just that it's gotten at a different part of the plant. It's still the same plant. Yeah. But it's pro- It's not cooked or somehow processed. Processed the same. And it's alkaline. Green right. tea is alkaline. Yes. See, black tea is acidic. Any acidic foods or any kind of acidic uh, item, like your meat, which you don't dr- eat meat, thank goodness. Uh, are acidic, and they say a lot of our diseases are are effect are helped. You know, anyway, disease likes acid bodies. Right. <laughs> I've been right. I've been drinking alkaline uh, water, and you can put lemon in water for out al- make it alkaline. Or it, and of course, if you have blood pressure problems, the, you don't want to put bacon soda. But yeah, I got I got to tell you, talking of water, there was an article in one of the newspapers this week that. Um, uh, drug uh, cocaine, you know the cocaine. Um, yeah. Apparently, 
cocaine is is used so much in this country now that traces of it are now appearing in drinking water. Mm. Which is a bit worrying, isn't it? Well, yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, I mean, I, yeah. I do, I do. Sometimes I laugh at the people who end, buy endless bottles and bottles and bottles of water because we have mains water here. Yeah. Um, but when you see stories like that, you do kind of start thinking, oh, you know, maybe you should be buying bottled water or. Do you know what I mean? I use a, a filtering uh, jug that I got at Walmart. Yeah. So you can put the little filter in the middle. Yes. It, fil- it's, it may not do, you know, extreme like some of the more expensive things, but uh, our water is from a well. We right. don't have anything. But where we live now, uh, used to be a well, I mean, an mm. oil field site. And I'm thinking, you know, oil uh, field, maybe there's yeah. oil in there. But yeah, we've yeah. had it tested. Uh, it's, wh- that's a deep down, you know, it doesn't get it. But still, just to be on the safe side, I, I always do you, filter water. Do you, have, um, do you have any fracking near you? No, they don't do that here. Up right. up, up at uh, Oklahoma City, which is about an hour north east of me, that's where all that all those... Tra- Actually, the only time I felt one here, I was sitting in my camper. It was kind of funny. This has been last year. Oh. It was pretty rough. I guess it was on a, close enough that I could, you know, experience it. Uh, I live in the fifth wheel. You know, it's on. it's got rubber tires underneath. Yes. And my fifth wheel was bouncing. Boom, 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 right. boom, boom. And shaking. And I thought, oh, my God. I thought it was the wind. I looked outside, and there was no wind whatsoever. Uh, and I heard the, the wheels popping even underneath the, the camper here. Right. And later that day, I found out that we'd had a five, 4.5 or something up northeast of me, uh, earthquake. earthquake. yes. Yeah, they're, they're, they're sucking all that water out from under there, and it's causing, you know, the plate. I yeah, guess the I plates don't, I don't shift. like it. I really don't like it. Well, all around me, I, it, it's it's sad. Of course, Earth, Mother Earth always, she don't get mad. Mm. She just gets even, mm. I say. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree, look I agree. <laughs> They're sucking her dry, but then, you know, is she going to even it out? And uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but no. we're going to have to learn to either take care of our planet See, Marge, or I, I, I actually the planet's bel- going to take care of us. <laughs> you I, know I, mean? I believe, I believe the Earth is a living thing. Oh, do you? And, and, okay. And we, yes, and we are like... You know, like, we can get bacteria and viruses in us, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I think we are the viruses and the bacteria to the Earth. Well, yes, yeah, kind of like the pagan theory about Mother Earth. Now, mm. I don't know. I don't think of a separate... Uh, we can be a bacteria, but, the, you know, we have a choice to be a bacteria, mm. Mm. or we can choose to be a part of Mother yes. Earth. You know, it's like you. You, yeah. you treat your mother good, or you can treat your mother bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But in the yeah. end, you're doing it to yourself. Yeah. Whatever yeah. you're doing, you're doing it to yourself because you and the earth are not separate. No, no. Everything is connected. Everything. When you think you're throwing out a piece of trash on the road and no, or pouring out chemicals, you know, in the re- end, it's going to come back on you because it you're, is the you're living on the circle of life, Marge. The it's circle, the circle of life. Of life. <laughs> Gonna have to go now, darling, because we're running out oh. of time. It's about six minutes to one there, my love. Oh, can I say one more thing? Yes. A friend of mine I found out got killed texting and driving oh, about but it yeah. was a year ago and I didn't I hadn't been I've been out of touch with them. I just want to mention texting and driving. This truck driver ran into her and killed her uh, about a year ago. Set, he they Terrible. blamed it on her just coming out of her lane, but they found out he had been on the phone, cell been, phone. Yeah, so please they can check stop back it. What people were doing. This is, yeah. this is the second person that's been close to me that's been killed texting and driving. Terrible. Anyway, have a blessed day and a blessed week and and uh, nice to talk to you, Marge. All right, my nice love. to talk to you, hun. <laughs> just ignore my text. Uh, uh, just think of everything I p- post is a joke. <laughs> I'm a crazy person. <laughs> we love <laughs> you, darling. Bye bye, Marge. There we are, Marge in Oklahoma on a, a new piece of equipment there, which is sounding rather good, I think. Yeah, be very, very careful that texting and driving, you know. Even if you're not doing it, someone else is, unfortunately, and terrible accidents. Uh, got a, a little audio message today from Cyber John, who we haven't heard from for a couple of months. So, hello, Cyber John. Let's have a little listen to hear what he's got to say today. Hi, Chris. You and I are both surrogates of the jet setting lifestyle. Singapore, Florida, Australia. We both love to see the world and, I guess, indulge in the largesse and cultural wonders on offer. What we don't enjoy is the post-terminus malaise known as jet lag. Long-haul journeys 
have their Faustian bargain and we suffer. And contrary to popular hype, drinking copious amounts of water, as opposed to my usual habit of acceding to the free drinks on board, does nothing to assuage the temporal discord after long trips. In fact, there is nothing any of us can do to manage this discombobulation. We are always going to feel rough. My father came back from the US with a copy of some mystic Hindu tract for $10 that he paid out that had been proffered to him at that point of least resistance when you have just travelled 8,000 miles. Now, the reason we cannot circumvent this eventuality is because the brain is keyed into light and day cycles and needs time to reset the body clock. However, this is but a fragment of the story according to one of my old colleagues, who has revealed that every cell in our body has a clock which governs the bodily cycle. It's inescapable. But it's not travel to far from places that we should be necessarily distressed by. These occur occasionally, and the body does well to adapt. Basically, we are not meant to stay up all night, even if we are prominent disco divas or DJs. There is no sleep bank to speak of. Man and woman have evolved to rise at dawn and lie down at dusk. Fighting against this genetic programming has been shown to lead to heart stress, diabetes and muscle stress. We are not night creatures. However, there is a bright revelation in all this. Patients with debilitating diseases are now being treated at specific times of day with incredible results. It seems that the body will react better at favourable times of day. In summary, if you want to run 100 metres in a record time, then do it at 10 past 3. That's the exact time when your body is best prepared. Also, if you are suffering from the inability of sleep, stop looking at a PC screen before bed as the blue light inhibits melatonin production, which is the body's natural method of sending us to the land of Zed. Of course, you could always listen to a Coldplay album to achieve the same result. Thank you, Cyberjohn. Wonderful to hear from you again. And see, we're going on there about looking at mobile phones before you go to bed. You shouldn't do it. Turn it off, leave it downstairs. All right, that's it today, boys and girls. Thank you very much for watching and listening to the show today. Uh, you can find my daily short videos at United Kingdom Talk TV dot co dot UK. United Kingdom Talk TV dot co dot UK. All right, do send us an email. It's always a great pleasure to hear from uh, uh, anyone who re writes in, and we like to read those out on the show as well. I'll see you again next Saturday afternoon at 12 o'clock UK time here at uh, unitedkingdomtalktv.co.uk. All right, have a nice week. See you soon. Bye-bye.